let's uh, first talk about what uh, we're going to get into a whole lot about, you know, the definitions of massage and body work and all that sort of thing. But, uh, you know, this is a podcast primarily uh, for wellness professionals and the people that want to know what they know. Uh, what all are you going to be teaching coming up here in November at the Seven Springs uh, CE Conference? Yeah, I'm really excited about that. It's going to be a chance for me to uh, showcase in a conference setting uh, a development of my work that has uh, been coming along in the last five years or so that I call resistance and release work. It's an extension of the work I learned uh, over 24 years of association with Dr. Milton Traeger. And um, a good, a, a large uh, emphasis of the Traeger work is lulling, relaxation, slowing the nervous system down, uh, kind of cleaning the slate of, of uh, latent habituated patterns and all that. But my current uh, passion is, uh, has been around the realization that relaxation is really only half of the picture of building new habits, building new coordination patterns, and that that requires the active participation of the client uh, learning to control their muscles, learning to coordinate muscle groups. So in addition to the relaxation, which is the release part, I've added what I call the resistance part, which is asking the client for resistance to attraction, pull away from it, resistance to a compression, push into it. And I design those tractions and compressions to focus on specific vectors through, through synergistic muscle groups and get, get a large group of muscles working together and working in concert and working at full bore instead of just a few motor units firing. And the result is uh, both tremendous uh, ease and range of motion that is reestablished and a sense of strength because we're getting more muscle units firing in a synergistic way. So uh, ease in movement and strength and potency behind that movement and the development of new coordination patterns. That's, that's what my latest development of work has been about. And what kind of uh, what kind of conditions or uh, illnesses or injuries has this been shown really effective for? Oh my goodness, uh, quite a gamut. <laughs> we don't have enough time to discuss them all. Yeah, I mean, all, all the way from uh, se severe injury or surgery rehab to your generic aches and pains to uh, weakness to uh, overtension. Um, I can lower tone, I can raise tone, I can, uh, basically anything in your somatic structure that's causing you distress and chronic pain, I'll have a run at. And wow. uh, I don't even know yet what it won't look for. <laughs> I'll have a run at it. 